Welcome back, guys. It's Vengeance here. You're joining me for episode 16 of Alan Wake 2. And we are jumping right in where we left off. Basically, we are uh, still in the hotel. Um, I think we're maybe getting close to the end, of, at least of the hotel. Um, got stuck on a couple of puzzles, so... Last episode, episode 15, is going to be a little bit rough. Probably some editing out some some of those struggles that I ran into. Took way too long to figure out some puzzle shit. Motherfucker. Asking too many freaking questions. Not letting us proper police take care of it. This is our chance to make the powers that be happy. We'll be set for life. Part of the inner circle. Well, amen to that, partner. I like it. And so the fraternity, the club, the word. Our dear friends with many names. The way I see it, it was a lone nut job. A junkie out of his mind on some fancy new designer drug. Open and shut case. All we gotta do now is dump the evidence from room 108 in the usual place in the alley. Okay, so 108 to the alleys. Back outside. Again, Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. Going to the alley, we're just going straight to Parliament Tower. Okay, I can handle it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. <gasps> Go to hell. Bitch, you got me again.
Alice had turned the bathroom into a dark room. needed to get inside the manuscript. Barry Wheeler? Hey Alice, everything good with you back? My God, I'm so can't, can't read it. I tried to call but couldn't reach you. You're probably just deep in your creative process. I know how you artists get when you're in the middle of your projects. Everything else just disappears. If you call back and can't reach me, I'm doing whatever it is an executive producer is supposed to do. Still a mystery to me. Oh, and if you want me to help with any business related to your exhibition, just help. Shark circling. They now want to turn what happened to Al into a movie and or a TV show and or get this a fucking video told me to fuck off. Cool. We got a video game. Also, in case you hear about this from someone else, a true crime writer named Tim Walker is working on a book with Al and he down. I hunted down her publisher and told them, I'll feel sued, don't worry, I'll, I've got you covered. Damn. Hey Alice, checking in, because I haven't heard from you, everything good back there, I've been trapped in non-stop, no breaks, no kimono, I've been sitting in a bug, and lunch is damned, how these people ever get a movie made, when all they do is sit with you, so you're going to be honest back there. Joined a cult? Hey Alice, you're going to think I've been replaced by an evil double, but I've joined a cult, and I love it. Joking. Joking about it being a cult, kind of, less than well in this country. Working with Al or the Andersons was tough sometimes, but these movie biz types are insane. My stress levels were through the roof, and I was tipped off one of the three best decisions I ever made. I've never felt this good. This guy who runs this place, Chester, is a goddamn weird worker, not a wacko. Anyway, I know you think I'm full of shit, but I've lost it. Up here, something bad would have happened to me if I'd stayed in New York. I wasn't feeling great after it happened, especially after those NPC creepos wanted to chat with me. Enough to turn anyone into a conspiracy. I know you're good over there. Come visit anytime. West Coast is not as bad as I made it sound in my career. Hey, Alice, I'm more a fish out of water in Hollywood than I ever was in the Pacific wilderness. These yuppies with their glow in the dark teeth. Six fingers and everything is so fucking great all the time. It's in fact, the opposite. More than once, I've thrown up in my mouth and drank the exact words. But I gotta be here to look after Al's legacy. Everyone wants to gobble up the film rights from these books. They have moronic ideas of what to do with them. It's my duty to herd this horde of TN songs into the general direction of those albums that have good taste. I'm equally aware how deeply Al would have. Adaptations. If they didn't do justice to his vision, he was a master of being things deeply for good reasons. I mean, that's why we love him so much, right? Anyways, gotta hop on another video call now to talk about the past. Of Barry. So it seems like Barry kind of. I don't know. He flipped the script. Maybe he got bought out. I don't know. Very weird. He goes from fucking hating. Hating some sort of producers to being cool with. For months after Alan died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion, the shock, the, the guilt, the fear. I could barely. 
finally get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. Oh, no. He even cooked me meals. Oh, no, 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 no. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Barry, you smash an house? I'll fucking kill you, motherfucker. That's what's going on right now. That's, what, that's what's happening. Alice's work had consumed the apartment. Her whole life. The whole place. Over here. One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image of the horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed. And I picked up my camera. She got that cam going on. She, this this whole shit is this is only fans for sure. Alice. Oh, got TVs and cameras all over the damn place. There was something in the dark. Something I needed to see to show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. You're creeping me out. You got TVs everywhere. There's a world hidden behind ours. Oh, yeah? A dark tide ebbing and flowing against reality. Faces in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that, that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography? can freeze reality in a snapshot and put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there. The light is fucking fine. No. It's the same fucking light from the first apartment scene. Kept flickering. It was flickering in the video. Alice was recording, and in the apartment, and it was flickering in that video she recorded.
manuscript of a novel. Return. A horror story about the Dark Presence escaping from the Dark Place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in. Try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. I think I think we're gonna keep going. Uh, we're gonna skip through that because that is the same soundtrack song as like eight other parts. me before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. So we're just gonna keep going. Fuck it. The memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me ahead of Scratch. Actually, exit? I can't fucking exit. Okay. Um. Let's start typing? Oh, maybe I can type. I can type. Okay, there we go. You said we worked on return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. Standing in a bunch of water. I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. 
<sighs> Masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask. But you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules. Endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky. You know? There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me. Someone you pulled into this. Hmm. You keep opening Ooh. doors. Peeking in. Reaching through to get what you want. And that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Who is the door trying to protect? Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wake. Whatever you say. Door, Zane, the masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. Fused? door was locked. Got to go. Oh, calm down. Get out of my story. Huh? Bro, chill the fuck out. Fuck off. Get fuck, loser. Also, I think from control. Very dumb. Here is the light at the end of the. Maybe put him in your film, Tom, like you have put me. <laughs> what films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Tom the Poet, my favorite, and Uerden Uer is the most famous one, of course. And is it true what I hear? That it's coming back to cinema soon? Is there a bottom to this rumor? I need to get back to my apartment. Oh, can you help me? Well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... the... What's the name The light pictures. The photos you artist wife took. Uh, they are waiting in the shoebox in the basement. 
What you leave behind, you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi. Basement. Find a fucking shoebox. Check out where we get without the fucking angel light. This is slightly different. All right. Well, my God, this is different. Apart, the light is a poisonous, poisonous dark. We're gonna cut the episode off here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please make sure to leave a like if you did. Let me know in the comment section and hit subscribe. Turn on notifications if you did. Enjoy the episode so you don't miss out on any future episodes. And as always, guys, we look forward to seeing you. Thank you.